The cathode building is 62.5% done. I have not altered the math. Pray I don't alter it further. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Well, a lot has happened over the past two weeks, but none of it changed the math as we track it. And I'm sure you'll agree that even though stuff is getting done, it doesn't appear meaningfully more complete than it did two weeks ago. A quick thank you to new patrons Jim, Jordan, and Robert, with a few more to come after that. Thank you guys for your decision to support the channel. So let's take a look at what has gotten done over the last two weeks. Well, the roof has gotten a bit cementitious. Yeah, they put down a thin layer of concrete over the corrugated steel, a thick layer of foam, and then another layer of concrete. This makes it very well insulated from the weather and the elements and the temperature changes, but it also adds significant structural integrity to the structure. Many of the columns have been coated with fireproof paint. Far more exterior wall panel mounting points have been added to the superstructure. There's a new set of scaffolding stairs at the northeast corner, and even permanent stairs going in inside. The interior has gotten a lot more concrete poured on the floors on the second and third floor, with more rebar added to finish it off in a week or two, I would say. And more concrete has been added to the ground floor. And there's a nice big loading platform made from scaffolding at the southwest side. And a lot of the underground conduit work has been finished off and filled back over with dirt. But we are still waiting for walls, which have yet to even arrive on site. This is the big hang-up. This is what the tracker is hinged on. So I may need to adjust the math to track the completion of the roof, since previous buildings got walls well before the roof was complete. But the workflow is very different this time. The roof is looking very close to complete, especially in those specific areas where the final concrete coating has been applied. The site map and overall progress are unchanged, so no new charts or graphs to show you this week. Mad thanks to Joe Techtmeyer for allowing use of his fantastic footage. Check him out for factory deep dives of a different variety from these, and because he's such an awesome guy. And frankly, quite a bit of what we learn about this building comes from his much longer videos that come out throughout the week. Since the walls haven't begun closing off, the target completion date has been bumped back accordingly. This tracker assumes five months from walls to completion, and it's the end of August already, so we're looking at sometime in February on an optimistic time frame. The count starts as each square gets closed off, but none of them are closed off. Videos like this take a lot of time to produce, so if you find value in what you see, considering offer your support on Patreon, where you get early access, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. And at the $10 level and above, you get access to my 11-year production prediction tracker. Or you can subscribe, like the video if you did, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter, at 4 Podcast. I appreciate you all either way, because you are, without exaggeration, the reason I'm able to keep going, and I thank you guys for that. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me all your thoughts, your wisdom, your blinding brilliance into them in the comments below, and stay tuned, stay juicy, and I will see you clever robots when the tracker gets something to show. And here is your time and a half overtime bonus for hanging out. In case you missed it, these are the three upcoming t-shirt designs for the channel. I have to rebuild my merch store because some joker in the compliance department at the old one decided that the word Tesla itself used in my logo is intellectual property infringement, and they are not interested in permitting my listings to post. Dumb. Genuinely dumb. But let's move on. So I'll have shirts for sale in person at Fully Charged in San Diego on September 10th and 11th, where I'm speaking at a panel on Saturday and hosting a panel of my own on Sunday. 
and I'll also have 8x10 prints available for purchase and smaller versions you can just pick up for free at my booth in the exhibition hall. It looks like Lars from Best in Tesla and Dr. Know-It-All will be at my booth as well, at least for part of the time, and they may have some swag you can grab as well. And if you are coming to Fully Charged, use coupon code MTW at checkout to save 15% on your tickets. So yeah, that...